Alright, so here we have another example. And um, again, before we can work with these, we need to find out what is our least common denominator. But we have a little added problem here in that 2x minus 6, it, it's hard to see exactly what your common denominator would be until everything is fully factored. So looking at this third term here, the one on the right, we can pull a 2 out of that term. So 2 times x minus 3 would be the exact same thing as 2x minus 6. And now that everything is fully factored, we can see the least common denominator much, much easier. So here, our common denominator now would be 2 and also x minus 3. So we're going to rewrite our original problem. I'm going to rewrite it as 3 halves plus, I'm going to leave some space, 5 over x minus 3 equals, leave some space, x plus 9 over, now I'm going to rewrite this in the factored form. And I'm going to multiply every single term by the common denominator of 2 times x minus 3. Oops, there it is. It disappeared on me for a minute. All right, now in our first term, our 2's will cancel. So we're left with x minus 3 times 3, which would be 3 times x minus 3, plus for our second term, the x minus 3's will cancel. We have 2 times 5, which would be 10, equals. And then for the right-hand side, the 2's will cancel and the x minus 3's will cancel. So we're left with x plus 9. Now to continue solving, we have to distribute our 3. So this will be 3x minus 9 plus 10 equals x plus 9. And then let's start collecting our like terms. So we have 3x minus 9 plus 10 would be a plus 1 equals x plus 9. Now I'm going to do this in one step here, so let's um, think about what we're doing. Let's subtract x from both sides so that they will remove it from this side. So 3x minus x will be 2x, and then let's move our 1 over here to the right, so we'll subtract 1 from both sides. 9 minus 1 would be 8. And now we still need to get the x alone, so let's divide both sides by 2 to get x equals 4. So we're saying that our final answer is x equals 4. Now before we can truly say that that is the correct answer, we need to go back and look to make sure that it will not create a zero denominator. If I put 4 in here in place of x, we have 4 minus 3 is 1. That's a good denominator. And if we put 4 here in place of x, we'd have 2 times 4 is 8, minus 6 is 2. That's a fine denominator also. We just can't have a 0 for a denominator.